I was listening to the radio and this lady brought up like Exodus and she was talking about Moses saying, you know, God, if you don't go with us, we don't even want to go. So, um, you know me, I'm not just going to go by what nobody said. Um, I went and looked at the context before that. My boy was saying, listen, not only do I not want to go or you're not going, um, I know that if I go, I need your grace to be with me. I'm talking to the believer right now, y'all. Have y'all ever been to a place you know God ain't seen you? The amount of energy given in that place to sustain it is insane. We be wanting all these promotions, we be wanting all these platforms, we be wanting all these things and all these gifts, um, and they be looking real good. Um, but if they be looking real good and they not really God, um, I dare you to not do it. The presence of God is the safest place to be. The Bible said the name of the Lord is a strong tower. My people run in and they're going to be safe. I ain't come to y'all with no real D message this morning. I just came to tell y'all um, where I'm at. And I'm in a place right now where I don't want to go if his presence is not going to be there. Y'all know how we be like, well, over there. If, if he not over there, I don't really want to go. Honestly, I don't really even have the energy to sustain something that ain't ordained by God. Like, I, it takes too much. It's way too much. And I just don't feel like that in this season. If you're contemplating going someplace that looks really good, but you know it ain't really God, don't. Wait a second, and I promise wherever he wants to take you, whatever he wants to provide for you will be better um, with his presence, with his assistance, with his hand on it. I'm just asking y'all to trust God this morning. More than you trust yourself, more than you trust what you think you know, more than you trust what you think you want, I promise his plans are better for you. Love y'all. Y'all stay blessed. Do your best. Peace.